are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Hello everywhere. Siamo da questa mattina senza energia elettrica e stiamo preparando un pranzo senza usare l'energia. Niki, che cosa prepari? Well, I've got a mega salad um, uh, with cannellini beans, tomatoes from the greenhouse, some greens and red onion from the garden. And I'm trying not to open the fridge and the freezer because it's very, very hot today. It's supposed to hit 38 degrees Celsius today. Um, so I really don't want to open the fridge or the freezer unless I have to. So I'm trying to make food with what we've got around the house. We are very, very lucky because our barbecue has a gas ring on it. So I'm cooking some rice, some black and white rice on the barbecue at the moment. Made this salad, I'll put some lemon juice on it and I'm making a fruit salad with fruit from the garden. Amore, could you please go and get me some apricots? Okay, si sì, Just certo. three or four. Okay, I, I give you an explanation what's happening. <laughs> Perché tutto il tempo <laughs> che Niki stava parlando, io mi, mi è salito proprio un rutto che ho fermato qui, <laughs> che mi sembrava brutto interrompere lei mentre parlava. E appena abbiamo finito e ho staccato la registrazione, è partito <laughs> un rutto enorme proprio. Scusa amore, mi spiace. Chiedo scusa anche a voi, anche se non l'avete sentito, però non era carino. Ok, vado a prendere l'albicocca, dai. So, this is saving us at the moment, because it means we can actually cook. So, I've got some black and white rice cooking on there. Ok, prendiamo l'albicocca. Non ci arrivo lì. Allora, anni fa ho letto un articolo su un giornale, non mi ricordo che tipo di giornale, dove si parlava dell'energia dell elettrica, si parlava di queste tempeste solari, insomma, potrebbe succedere un giorno, Dio voglia non succeda mai, che una tempesta elettromagnetica bloccherà tutte le cose elettriche e elettroniche in questo mondo. E secondo questo articolo, ci saranno milioni di morti Mo non è un bel discorso però questa cosa mi viene in mente ogni volta che va via la corrente e sinceramente questa cosa spaventa da morire perché se pensiamo che da quando il mondo da quando l'essere umano esiste non il mondo l'essere umano quindi un po meno tempo fa queste tempeste solari elettromagnetiche sono successe tante volte solo che la tecnologia non era così avanti come adesso e, e quei tempi magari se succedevano non se ne accorgeva nessuno adesso se ne accorgerebbero assolutamente tutti e quindi credo che sia un pericolo grandioso non lo so perché ho detto questo, non è una stronzata, vabbè, però che ne pensi amore di questo? Penso che non siamo pronti se l'elettricità fosse andata per sempre We're not prepared at all. A um, hundred years ago, it wouldn't have made any difference because everybody was used to not having electricity um, and they'd only just got it. But nowadays, I think a lot of people wouldn't know what to do. I'm already sitting here thinking, okay, my computer already ran out this morning, so I can't use my computer. That's fine. I've done my editing. I'm, my next video is ready. I don't need to worry about that. I could go down into town to upload somewhere else. Um, I've got plenty of books to read, so I can actually take a forced vacation and read but food wise I'm already thinking because when Sky was a baby the electricity did go off for two whole days and I'm already thinking about the fridge in this heat so I'm not try trying not to open it but I'm thinking if it gets to tonight we're going to have to start taking stuff out the fridge and using it and the freezer too so that's something to consider um, I think we could get by with food with what we have here quite okay but I think 
for a lot of people, it would be what to do. People who don't read anymore, people who rely on the internet for their entertainment, what would they do? We're quite happy going for walks and playing with the doggies and reading books and doing stuff in the garden. But how would you be without internet, without electricity, without light, without any of that? Sì, anche se internet sarebbe proprio l'ultimo degli ultimi problemi. Immaginate, oggi tutto funziona elettronicamente ed elettricamente. Uh, tanto per dire una cosa davvero stupida che non tutti pensano, una pompa di benzina. Magari tu hai uh, la benzina in osservatorio che è ovviamente è sottosuolo, però se non hai l'energia elettrica non puoi prendere quella benzina che sta lì sotto e metterla nella tua auto. In Ma... fact, che posso dire, I've already started filling up bottles <laughs> of water because Carlo said earlier that the pumps that bring the water are run by electricity, so we could run out of water. We've got a whole swimming pool out there to clean ourselves in, but we can't drink it. Vabbè, più precisamente l'acqua qua possiamo funziona così. Allora, ci sono dei grandi serbatoi di stoccaggio uh, che sono sparsi un po', un, un po in tutto Positano. Uh, quelli uh, che portano l'acqua qua ovviamente sono ancora più in alto di questa casa. Quindi ci sono i motori che pompano l'acqua dentro questi grandi serbatoi e poi l'acqua per caduta arriva fino a qua. Quindi se interrompono l'elettricità per ore e ore Potrebbe succedere. <ride> Potrebbe succedere che il serbatoio si svuoti e non, non arrivando la, la nuova acqua, quindi rimaniamo senza acqua anche. Vabbè, già il mondo è catastrofico, basta con questo discorso. Passiamo ad altro. The other problem when there's no power is that we are completely uncontactable because our phone line goes down with the electricity for some reason, don't know why, but it does. And we have no phone reception at home. So every now and again, we have to pop out, walk down to the mountain pathway just to check and see whether anybody's tried to get hold of us or anything's happened. We're gonna do that now. <laughs> And the worst thing is, the internet's not working generally in this area for some reason. Maybe it's the amount of, often in the summer when there's so many people down in town, it stopped working. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but nothing's uploading, nothing's arriving. We are completely cut off at the moment. Carla ended up opening the fridge, so I got a jar of tuna out and I've added it into this. It's actually really good, especially with a little bit of lemon on it. So I'll leave the recipe for this in the description box below. Oh. Yes, it's Bella. Ma hai dormito qui? Sì, è fresco. 
sfârșit. Bella, da? It is ten past seven in the morning. Um, our electricity yesterday came back on at about three in the afternoon. Uh, so we carried on as normal for the rest of the day. And then at midnight, almost precisely at midnight, it went off again and it hasn't come back on. It was very, very hot last night. I ended up sleeping on the hammock and Carlo on the sofa. Now, Luke has just arrived and he's digging up potatoes upstairs and he said that he had electricity in Monte Petuso last night. So now we're not sure whether it's just us that doesn't have electricity. So I'm going out to find out. I'm gonna see if I can find Michaela, our neighbor, and see if he's got electricity and go up for a walk and see what I can discover. Just found my neighbor, Carmela, and she doesn't have electricity either. It's not just us. Hey, look at this. No, 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 So it is this lower half of Monte Petuso that has no electricity. The mechanic is not working. He's taken the time off. The uh, forge is, they're all just sitting there doing nothing. And apparently a generator is arriving. Now there was a generator last night as we, we went out last night for dinner and on our way back, there was a generator parked at the bottom of the road here. Not really much use down there, but apparently there's another one up here. It doesn't work, which is wonderful. Here we go. So this is supposed to be powering us, but unfortunately, as you can hear, it's not making any noise whatsoever. It's got a lovely view. But it doesn't work. In a way, I don't mind not having electricity. I quite like the adventure of having to do without. But then there's certain things which it's really inconvenient. So I think today, if it doesn't come back on, emptying the fridge and the freezer, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Um, it's got a lot of stuff that's going to have to be thrown away if they don't get a generator working, which hopefully they will. Just bearing in mind the amount of tourists that are here and for them not having air conditioning, which is something that many people can't live without and not being able to make a coffee from the coffee machine in the morning, um, not having Wi-Fi to plan where you're going next or what you're doing or keep in touch with family back home. That's a major inconvenience and it's a real shame uh, for them. So hopefully they'll get it all up and running. Um, at the Fabra they said that, just now I spoke to Antonino and he said that they should be arriving any minute. So let's see when I get back from this walk, if something is happening. Dietro le mie spalle potete vedere c'è il camion con un generatore, quello blu, quello lì e poi su quell'altro camion bianco laggiù ci sono gli attrezzi perché dovranno fare scavare un buco uh, sotto la strada che passano i cavi e i cavi si sono rotti in qualche punto e hanno causato questo problema all'energia elettrica. 
Allora, abbiamo scoperto dove dovranno fare il buco, eccolo qua. Hanno fatto dei segni a terra e penso che nelle prossime ore inizieranno a scavare. Così vediamo di risolvere questo problema dell'energia elettrica. Oh, ha già hanno fatto la riparazione o hanno ancora iniziato? Ecco qua. It's 20 past 7 in the evening. The generator in Monte Potosso is running, although the power has gone out twice again this afternoon. And we've decided we're not going to bother risking trying to make dinner at home. We're going to go out again. So we're going to drive up to Collie, take the dogs for a lovely walk in the pine forest up there, which should be cooler at this time of night. And then we'll stop at La Stelucha and have something simple to eat. Okay. Mi piace sempre qua. Adesso che è estate non ci veniamo quasi mai perché fa caldo, però è bello. Abbiamo mangiato già tutto. <ride> I'm on my way down. I've just stopped here in the shade to quickly talk to you. You'll have to excuse the extremely loud cricket that is somewhere in that bush, I think. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I like to try and introduce you to some of the people around town, people that live in Positano, people that work in Positano. For example, I really enjoyed bringing awareness um, about the porters and the amount of work that they do, uh, the video I made with Francesco, and also Antonio, who makes the goat's cheese up on the Path of the Gods. Well, today I thought I would introduce you to some people who you probably, if you've been to Positano, you would have definitely walked past them and you just might not have noticed them. Now, we're going down to the little alleyway covered in bougainvillea that leads down to the beach where there's lots of jewellery and art sellers. And we're going to meet some of them today. Siamo qui nella stradina del Palazzo Murat, così la chiamiamo noi positanesi perché qui c'è l'albergo Palazzo Murat e su questa strada, che è la strada principale per arrivare giù in spiaggia, ci sono molti artisti di strada e vi faremo vedere le loro cose. Ok, this little bit here is called The Wall. This is Julia. Hi. And I know Julia since she was a tiny baby. So I'm very good friends with Gloria, who you can't see at the moment, but Julia's mother. And when Julia was born, I first met her, she was in a little push chair, and I said, I want a little girl like that one. And a few years later, I got one. <laughs> Pretty similar. <laughs> Pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me about what you're doing because I can see you're wearing one of your lovely creations. Yeah, I usually wear all my creations and all my friends does too, do too. I don't know, I'm not really good with English brown, Come on. <laughs> but uh, I usually do all this stuff with charms. They are little cords that I put a little bit of beads on the end and then I add a little charm. And uh, also I apply my knowledge of marketing here with little stuff, some little signs that say like get your friendship bracelet and all this stuff that in marketing helps me a bit. And we are here since four years with my mom, but before my dad was here and uh, like I'm continuing his This family tradition. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We also have some cool stuff of another art artist of Positano that is called Berenice and she does all these little things, also this, and uh, they're made of copper and uh, it's the same, the same procedure of the ceramic, they before paint it and then they put it in the oven and this is the result and I think they're really cute <laughs> and you can also put like all this stuff on your garden or the outside of the houses.
Allora, lui è Antonio. Siamo amici non dall'infanzia perché lui c'è un bel po' più di me, però siamo diventati amici dopo. E lui è un artista, il papà era un artista. Mio padre era un artista, io sono un artigiano, come vedi faccio un prodotto eh, che rappresenta un, un souvenir simpatico, colorato. A me piace tanto. Io ho un paio di cose che mi ha regalato lui e, e una... Una è rimasta a cimitero. Eh, stasera deve andare a prendere. Un giorno le mie prime esibizioni, ho sempre dipinto, però mai messo in commercio le mie cose. Poi ho iniziato a fare questi pesciolini che sono cambiati nel tempo perché dal 2010-2011 che facendo un'esposizione giù alla, alla Brezza che ebbe un bel successo e è venuto fuori questo poi in seguito. Ma questo diciamo, rappresenta un po' il seguito di mio padre, l'influenza dell'arte degli anni 60 che era qui trasformata un po' in moderno. Sì, io e Antonio abbiamo avuto dei bei momenti di stare insieme così al cimitero che purtroppo lui ha avuto a che fare con situazioni che hanno avuto bisogno del cimitero e abbiamo avuto degli scambi di opinioni un po' di... di... Sul tempo, sulle... su tante cose. sul passato, sul presente. Insomma abbiamo una sintonia, questo, questo lo posso dire. I would have loved to introduce you to Marina, but she wasn't here that day. Here's some of her wonderful paintings of the Amalfi Coast, and some of eagle-eyed of you will know that I have two of her paintings at home. I bought them from her, one when I was 19, and the other one when I was about 22. So I've known Marina for a long, long time. And if you love pastels and postcards, don't miss the paintings by French artist Martine, right next to Marina. So the first person that you're going to meet as you're walking down the Stradina is Pietro and Hello, Giulia. Nice to meet you. And I've known Pietro for probably about 24, 25 years. Exactly. Because Pietro speaks really, really good English. And when I couldn't speak Italian, I had him to help me. <laughs> so what have you got here? Tell me a bit about what you're selling. Oh. I go myself to Bali and then I bring the shells in here and then I do some work on the shells, which, and then I sell it. And then uh, just bracelet, like summer things, not expensive things. <laughs> And I, maybe I'm the only one who is not that expensive in this town. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, but this it's is so great sometimes. for gifts here. Yes, and me and my wife here, we just do this work and uh, we hope we're going to be happy for the rest of our life <laughs> and doing this job for another 15 years. And then I'm going to go and live it in a farm. It's too crowded. I don't want to see any more people. Yeah. <laughs> I want to have chickens. Yeah, I mean, how is it? How is it being here all day long with all these people walking Just past? Just thousand, thousand people pass. I mean, you meet everybody. Everybody who comes to Positano. Well, you they will meet see them. me. Well, no, they meet I don't, you. Yeah. yeah, because they just. I cannot meet all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like about 15, 20,000 people a day. And for me, it's okay. I'm used to that. So, yeah. maybe 26 years. I'm I here. don't think uh, I could cope. Yeah, it's, not, it's a bit hard if you, you don't have to watch the people. I yeah. mean, when they walk, you have to, you have to save the straits. Giulia, come, come ti trovi con tutta questa gente? Benissimo, sì? io sono in paradiso qui. Ok, perfetto. Sì. Come potete vedere dietro di me, il generatore è spento. Quindi vuol dire che dopo vari giorni e vari buchi nella strada, sono riusciti a risolvere il problema. Thank you. So we have our electricity back. It uh, obviously was quite a big fault because the road was dug up in two or three different places and there was two generators in Monte Petuso and there was another spare one waiting at the bottom of the road just in case, I think. Um, so we had sort of like one, the, the one main day where it was out from nine in the morning to three in the afternoon and then from midnight through to 9.30 the next morning. The next day it went on and off a few times 
and then the day after that we were running on the generator and that was solid and then the next day it went off suddenly in the afternoon just for about five minutes and then came back on and I think that's when they switched back to the mains I think they found the fault they switched it back from the generator to mains and it's been fine ever since so hopefully fingers crossed it'll be fine from now onwards I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you lovely people who have bought my book read it there's some lovely reviews coming through on Amazon, which is really great. Thank you so much for doing that for me. And thank you all for buying and reading the book and believing in me. And it's giving me the confidence to start planning the next one. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watching this video. Thank you for everybody who's um, supporting us in all the different ways you do. And we will see you all next Sunday. Have a lovely week. Bye.